We are in New Buffalo, Michigan for a little Midwest weekend getaway. We're gonna visit some popular restaurants, breweries, we'll head to the beach and pop into Michigan wine country. Well, for lunch today here in New Buffalo, we're gonna go to this spot right behind me. That's the Stray Dog. It's a bar here in New Buffalo. It kind of sits out and looking at uh, the marina. Uh, you're not too far from Lake Michigan, which if you know anything about the Midwest, you know, there's five lakes that are pretty famous. They're called the Great Lakes. They're more like inland seas. Um, I think there's a reason why they're not called seas, but um, they're huge. And so um, this is such a great area, this part of Michigan. Always enjoy coming here. And this is one of the great spots. You can see up top, there's a rooftop there. It's not open right now, um, but we're looking forward to lunch and uh, getting things started off here in the New Buffalo area, right? We're here at the Stray Dog in New Buffalo, Michigan, which is one of the most popular restaurants in the area. And if you're from the Midwest, you've probably seen someone wear a Stray Dog t-shirt at some point somewhere. It's that popular. We just placed our order. Adam is getting a short rib grilled cheese. Sounds absolutely amazing. And I'm getting a Cobb salad. A little bit lighter, but balance is important. Okay, so this is a grilled cheese, braised rib grilled cheese. Let's be honest, this is a braised short rib sandwich that is cooked grilled cheese style because I think the real star of the show here is the braised beef. All right, let's go. So there's actually a beer cheese on here. So, so there's Swiss cheese and a beer cheese. I'm not gonna be eating all this uh, myself. We're gonna split this. This is a hearty sandwich. Uh, it's full of flavor though. This sandwich looks beautiful. Going right in. The beer cheese on here is really good. I mean like, it's so melty. So delicious, but it holds up really well because you think it'd be a little, it's dripping a little bit, but you'd think it'd be a lot messier than it is. Um, braised beef is really good. Mm. It's a good sandwich. We've, had, we've never been here before. This place is always packed. I mean, this sandwich right here is living up to the hype. As I said, life is about balance, so I got a salad. Now it's a cob salad, so it does have bacon and cheese and egg and all kinds of deliciousness on top. But beautifully laid out. And, uh, you know, we're on a Midwestern beach vacation, so we gotta, we gotta keep health in mind a little bit. Good start here at the Stray Dog. We're gonna keep the fun rolling. We got some fun stops planned, maybe some vineyards, some beach, definitely some... Uh, some more food. We have popped up to Sawyer. It's a little town here in Harbor Country. It's got a nice little main street. You've got the old post office. You got a little market that sells Michigan fruits. And by the way, this West Coast of Michigan has a bit more of a, I don't want to say temperate climate, but doesn't have the temperature extremes. And so that lends itself really well to growing fruit. They kind of call it the fruit belt here. Um, so there's great peaches, great blueberries, great cherries. Um, we might pop into that market, get a couple items. Um, but like I said, we're going to go into this brewery called Green Bush Brewery, uh, get some beers, maybe get another bite to eat. Um, but you know, we just love the little towns up here. We've been coming here, um, both of us separately, um, to this part of Michigan, uh, since we were little kids. And so, um, this area is actually kind of well, the first place Madeline and I went to get away when we started dating. So we put in an order here at Greenbush Brewery. 
it's a little loud inside and, and we thought maybe we could keep Fallout Boy out of this video. And so we got a couple beers, we stepped outside. This is called Vindication. It's a ale that's made with blueberries. And you know anything about Michigan, this part of Western Michigan, they grow a lot of fresh fruit. They have peaches, cherries, blueberries. And I would, I would describe this as a blueberry stained ale. You don't get like a blueberry fruity flavor, but you do pick up a very, very nice, um, yeah, earthiness is not the right word. Hint? Yeah, you get, you get a hint. I don't want to sound like Moira Rose, but you get a hint of, of fruit, a hint of blueberry. I decided to get the Sunspot Hefeweizen. Love this, uh, love this glass. We might uh, have to take home with us. That's nice and light. They have a huge beer menu. Uh, pretty nice little brewery here. Really cute little town. We're in Sawyer, Michigan. And uh, really nice beer. All right, we did put in an order. We got a BLT sandwich here. They make their own bacon. Uh, you can actually buy it by the pound. And just seemed, uh, seemed too good to pass up. We're gonna go right in the middle. Well, we are staying in Union Pier while we're here in Michigan. And so we stopped in to Seeds Brewery. Here I have Mitten Life. I couldn't pass up that name while here in Michigan. Oh, that's nice. They have some really nice breweries here in Southwestern Michigan. We love popping into breweries when we're traveling because they're kid friendly and they're dog friendly most of the time. We don't have Howie with us on this trip, but uh, it was nice to hang out with a few pups while we were enjoying some beers. We are out here in the vines in Michigan wine country. Right now we are at the Round Barn Vineyard, but uh, we always seem to find ourselves out in wine country. And Southwest Michigan has a nice little wine country. There's a wine trail, so we're just gonna kinda do our own little trail today. See where we end up. We are in Michigan wine country. We've stopped off at the Round Barn Winery. It's a really nice little vineyard here. It's actually grown a lot. They have a distillery, they have a brewery as well. Um, there's a big festival going on today. So we just stopped in. I got a Pinot Blanc. It's pretty good. It's dry, which is kind of a surprise because Michigan wine is usually pretty sweet. But we also got this nice little charcuterie board here. There's a ton of crackers on this board, which usually they don't give you enough crackers and charcuterie, so that's kind of nice. I'm just gonna break off a little, little cheese, build a little snack here. It is not artfully done. There you go. Anytime we go to wine country, we always try to be responsible. So I'm drinking a mocktail. It's watermelon syrup and Sprite. It's actually pretty good. And this charcuterie board, we have a ton of crackers. Like, I actually mean we have a ton. We can't even lift the plate. Um, and they did not skimp on the cheese either. So we might be taking this charcuterie board to go. I don't think Matt will mind.
Well, we've made it to the beach. I'm walking here along the shores of Lake Michigan. There's uh, boats going by. It's a sailboat out in the distance as well. Pretty common occurrence uh, here on the shores of Michigan, seeing these boats go by. When I was a kid, uh, people we used to visit would, they had a boat and we'd go out there and do the fishing and all that. And uh, some really great memories from then. Uh, there's also some really nice houses up along the, up along the dune, I guess you'd call it. I don't think it's a dune, but if you kind of look down the coast, you do see that it's not like a flat ground necessarily. There is a dip down towards Lake Michigan here on the Michigan side. But uh, plenty of beach, uh, relatively kind of white sand. And when you walk down the path down to the beach, the water does have a teal blue. I mean, it's not the Caribbean, uh, don't get me wrong. But I think a lot of people would be surprised um, when they come. Just kind of the different shades of water that you have uh, here around Lake Michigan. Um, it's, it's quite beautiful. And, you know, in the summer, the water's warm enough to get in and bounce around. And uh, it's really one of the best getaways in the entire Midwest. On a clear day, you can actually look across the lake and see Chicago. Um, I don't know why I keep looking because I've seen that city enough. I guess it's such a beautiful city, I never get tired of looking at it. But um, you actually can see Chicago from across the lake here at this point. Um, unfortunately today, I don't think it's visible. Um, but uh, there are times where it is. Also, I don't think this, uh, this little GoPro has got the power to pick it up even if it were. This could be one of those things where people yell at me in the comments, but I think Michigan has the most fresh water shoreline in the entire world. And I think Alaska has more coastline, but that's obviously salt water. But part of the cheat code for Michigan is that um, they have the upper peninsula, which touches two lakes. Um, so there's a lot of coastline up there as well. And additionally, they touch four out of the five Great Lakes. So this is really a water state. It's a water haven. If you want to see more from our Great Lake adventures, click right here. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one.